Have you ever thought about going to Universal Orlando by yourself? Or do you think, hey Nikki, this is just too weird? But don't worry, I got some tips for you to help you confidently plan out your first solo trip to Universal Orlando Resort that can apply for both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. As you can tell, I love solo theme park hopping and the Universal Orlando Resort parks are made perfectly for solo adult travelers. If this sounds like you, then I recommend scheduling a tour just to kind of see if you like doing this solo thing. And while you're on the tour, you never know what kind of adventures may jumpstart your vacation. From the fact that there's actually a big cauldron inside that's cracked and it leaks on the floor. That's why it's called the leaky cauldron. Tip one, like I always say, is to start small. Because this way of travel can be intimidating to Universal fans, I recommend easing into solo travel first. Don't just jump out there in the waters. You may not like it. For example, try getting to one of the parks ahead of your group. So if you guys plan to meet up at Islands of Adventure around 11 a.m., then get to the park about 9 a.m. just to see if you feel comfortable conquering the park alone. By the time you meet back up with your friends or your family, you may have knocked out a few of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter rides. And this may just kind of convince you that, hey, I could do a whole day by myself. Tip number two is to plan and research your universal vacation. The idea of planning to go to Universal alone may already be kind of stressful for you, so I highly suggest planning out your days ahead of time. This will decrease the anxiety of doing Universal solo. If you have an itinerary, then you won't dwell on the fact that you are kind of by yourself. Tip number three is to take advantage of the single rider line. This line can cut your wait time in half and that's always a benefit of going to a theme park alone. It allows you to get around most of the attractions quickly because you don't have to wait in line. Some of the single rider lines at Universal Studios Florida are Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts, Hollywood Rip Rocket Roller Coaster, Fast and Furious Supercharged, Men in Black Alien Attack, Revenge of the Mummy, Transformers The Ride 3D, and over at Islands of Adventure, some of the single riders there are The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man, Doctor Doom's Fearfall, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, Skull Island, Reign of Kong. Always ask an attendant at the front of the line to kind of give you an idea of what the wait time is for the single rider line. Tip number four is to theme your days at Universal. What I mean by this is to try to make it a day where maybe you wanna do all the thrill rides or maybe you wanna do a day of just kind of trying all the unique snacks. What I do sometimes is I'll just do a day full of water rides, especially in the dead heat of summer. Universal has spectacular water rides and I'll just do that. One thing I do like to do at Universal Studios Florida in particular is do kind of like a rare character search. Universal has some of the most amazing characters that you can meet out on the streets and they are so interactive that that is my favorite aspect of Universal Studios Florida and one of the reasons why I love going solo. They make you feel so special. Tip number five is that you need to do Universal your way on your solo trip. Since it is your trip, like I said, this is the main perk. You get freedom. You do what you want. And in order to get all of your universal must-dos done, I do suggest, however, that you do research on the web before you leave and to write it down. <laughs> Tip number six is to choose the perfect universal hotel. Yeah, it is easy to book a hotel and stay cooped up in your room, only leaving to go to the parks. But why? Why would you even put yourself through this on your solo trip? When you are choosing that hotel, you should ask yourself, how social do you want to be? I highly recommend choosing a lively hipster vibe hotel such as Hard Rock Hotel or Cabana Bay. Both resorts 
make it easy to meet new people and they have great theming, great music, great food, great energy. I just love those resorts. Both the Hard Rock Hotel and Cabana Bay have hip lounges with staff incorporating the theme park charm inside the bar area. Tip number seven leads me to don't be afraid to socialize. Avoid being shy if you can. And I know it can be a daunting task to try to introduce yourself to people. It's always easier to stay to yourself. And I can speak to that firsthand because I am an introvert. But get out of your comfort zone and introduce yourself to at least one person on your solo universal trip. Get familiar with your social media community. There are lots of Facebook groups out there dedicated to theme park enthusiasts. This is how I have met some great, great, great people on there. If you want to start in a nice group, you can go over to facebook.com and join the theme park hipster group. And we'll love to welcome you there and we'll possibly meet up. Tip number eight is to take your time. This is the time for you to get into all the nooks and crannies Universal has to offer. At Universal Studios, there are so many shops and alleys to discover that you'll end up creating your own story of adventure. Tip number nine is to take lots of photos at Universal Orlando. Get all your selfies in while you can, and don't forget to take some photos with characters in the park. This may seem a little juvenile, but it is actually a cool thing. And as I mentioned before, Universal Studios has some of the best interactive character meet and greets there. And they love talking and chatting with you, and that is one of my favorite things to do when I am on my solo trips. Tip number 10 is to know the perks of doing Universal Solo. The first perk is that you get freedom. There is an incredible sense of independence when you're exploring the parks by yourself. You can listen to Celestina Warback perform on stage in Diagon Alley without anyone mocking you of your choice of entertainment. Perk number two is that you become a better problem solver. Because it is just you on this vacation, you have to plan and come up with solutions on your own. Perk number three is you meet incredible solo theme park hipsters. You remember your home and that you are never truly alone. The team members and Universal Orlando guests are all your friends. So enjoy every single moment of this big, big, big family reunion. Don't spend your life waiting for others. Schedule to line up and get perfect with yours in order for you to go to that theme park. And until next time, happy park hopping hipsters.